Hi, how's it going? Um, my name is Mike Davis. I'm the Graphics and Web Coordinator over at Wharton Center. Um, in our last meeting, uh, one of the things that came up was photo releases and media releases. Um, and I was volunteered, um, seeing as in how we have a very unique sort of situation at Wharton Center to kind of speak about this. Um, so I'd like to kind of uh, present to you three kind of situations that you'll most likely find yourself in, uh, which is what we typically find ourselves in over at Wharton Center. Uh, and those situations are, if it advances, is it working, guys? I'm Oh, there. Okay. There we go. Um, they say it's working back there. Can you guys hear me? Yes? No? I will project a little bit better? I don't know. Um, in any case, I'll just talk a little bit louder. Um, the three situations that you usually find yourselves in or that we find ourselves in um, are, are the use of public situations, uh, private events, which we have, and then registered uh, public events, which are events that are open to the public that anyone can register for and attendees will come. Um, luckily, we know who they are beforehand. But again, uh, public places, Wharton Center is a public place. You come to a performance, it's a public place. We know that um, you know that when you're coming in, it's a whole bunch of people. And it's generally high, a whole mess of people that we're going to see as you're there. Um, the, the auditorium, the tier, all those places are public places. Yes, you have purchased a ticket to see a show, but essentially, it's still a public place. Um, that we can use to take your picture. The nice thing about it is that we've let you know beforehand, uh, either in our policy or uh, when you order a ticket, that that could potentially happen. Uh, so that you know when you come to Wharton Center, hey, if there's a photographer roaming around, you're potentially going to be in a photo uh, either in the hall or in one of our other spaces. Um, private events. Uh, we hold a lot of dinners. We hold a lot of receptions. Um, many of those are private events for the university. Many of those are private events just for our donors. Uh, and those are events that we send an invitation out to those specific people. So we know that you are coming. We know that um, Lu Luana Kay has said, I'm coming to this event because I've had an, an invite sent to me. We know that she's coming. And we've told her, hey, we're probably going to take your picture at this. Um, and registered events are specific things like classes that we hold where it'll be, hey, um, come to our Broadway day camp. You've registered. We'll send you a release form when you register. That way, we know that we have your permission to take that picture. Um, so looking at these, uh, this is a really nice shot of what we have uh, in the hall. Um, because it's a crowd and no one particular person is very discernible, um, you don't need a, uh, a model release for it. Um, you can't look in this photo and be like, oh, I see my cousin. You know, um, it's, it's really nice. It allows us to take this and use it as a marketing shot, um, use it for news media, use it for any sort of nice promotional material for Wharton Center um, because it's a public place. Um, it gets a little bit trickier when you have public figures. This is Dr. Wharton. You know, when he comes into the building and you're like, oh, what, what do I do? He's a public figure. Um, but you're still in a public place. The nice thing is that because he's a public figure um, and because he's associated with the university and he's at your event um, specifically in a public place, you can take his photo and he understands that you're taking it for uh, specifically uh, news media, uh, marketing, or educational purposes because it's tied to a specific event that he came to in a public place and he knows that you're going to take his photo. Um, some warnings that you want to be specific about when in public places. Um, always let people know that you're taking their photo. Um, they're always more agreeable if you say, hey, I'm taking this photo for Wharton Center or I'm taking this photo for the university for use in our brochure. They're like, oh, that's great. Um, people you will find more often than likely are happy to have their photo taken to be used for something. Um, always make sure that you are always using it in the intended form, um, especially when it's in this sort of public setting. Use it for information. Use it for educational purposes because we're on campus. Use it for anything that's newsworthy. Um, when we had our grand opening, which was what that photo of Dr. Fortin was, was it was the grand opening, grand reopening of Wharton Center. Uh, so we had an open house. Uh, he knew that it was going to be a newsworthy event, uh, so we took his photo, and he was perfectly happy with that. Um, when you get into private events, this is a, uh, a photo of a dinner that we had at Wharton Center associated with the, the grand reopening. Um, this is a private event. This is something that um, not everybody in this room would get to go to. Certain people would get an invitation. Bert would get an invitation. Renee would get an invitation. I'd get an invitation. Um, the rest of you, sorry, you, you weren't on the list. Um, <laughs> But in any case, uh, what it is is that it's a private event. You know who's coming. 
um, you can tell them in the invitation that, hey, we're going to have a photographer at this event. You are most likely going to have your photo taken. Um, this allows you to say to those people, um, you know that your photo is going to be taken. If you don't want your photo taken, if you don't want us to use your image, let us know. We will make sure not to use your image. That way you do not need a release for every single person that's there because you've sent out an invitation and you've let them know. You can say, oh, this person said not to have their photo taken. We know that they're seated at table nine. Don't take a photo of table nine. Um, it makes it really easy when you're at private events. Um, again, you have your public figures at private events because you've let them know in the invitation. You have um, Dolores Wharton, you have Luana Kay in this photo. Um, they know that their photo is going to be taken. They're at a private event that's associated with the university. Uh, you do not need a specific model release because you've let them know and because it's for those educational, informational, and uh, newsworthy sort of purposes. Um, again, it's, it's very, very key and important to let people know in the invitation that that photo uh, shoot is going to happen so that they aren't caught off guard. Um, if you don't let them know in the invitation, at least let them know when they walk in the door to register. Uh, you know, when you have a table uh, of names, uh, of the name tags, let them know that that photo is going to be taken. A man of legalities. Um, it, it's kind of both. This is one of the things that we have done at Wharton Center that really works for us. Um, we know that we haven't had any issues in the past with it uh, at any of our events. Um, and it also becomes one of those things that legally you need to let people know if you're going to use their photo uh, in anything that's going to be printed, produced on the web, uh, so that they know and they're aware of it. Uh, most places, like, the, like any publication, is going to have a model release form. Uh, when you get your photo taken for the newspaper, they're going to say, hey, we're going to take your photo. Can I get your name? Uh, so they can caption it properly so that you aren't caught unawares of, oh, why is my photo in the newspaper? I didn't know I was at this thing. Um, those are kind of the things that you run into, is making sure that legally you're covered, um, but then also that you've set up sort of a convention and a policy to make sure that you do things correctly every time. Okay. Um, when you get into registered events, again, this is one of those really nice situations that you have people coming to your venue. You've said, um, hey, everyone, come to our Broadway Day camp. You get to work with Broadway stars and learn how to sing and dance. It's fun. Um, <laughs> I promise, it really is. Um, but what's cool is that you have everybody there that you know who they are. They have signed up for your event. They have said, hey, I'm very interested in this. Here's my information. And when you give them that registration form, you can very easily say, hey, we're going to take your photo. We're going to shoot video. We're going to use this in future promotions. We would like your release and consent to use your photo. Um, it works out really well because you have every single person turn that in. And we have not in the past, I think it's five years that we've been running our Broadway Day Camp program, um, we haven't had anyone say no, um, which is great because it means that we get really nice photos of a student working with a Broadway actor saying, cool, we can use this nice photo in our brochure for next year. Um, some example language that we use in, it's, it's a lot of words there, I apologize. Um, but this is basically the example language of what we use in our release form. Um, we always have that first paragraph, and then we always have um, that last paragraph saying, hey, you're coming to our event. Uh, understand that you could be photographed or you could be videotaped at our event do you grant permission for us? Um, I, I kind of left it generic so that you can say unit name and event and kind of, oh, cool, automatic update. Um, I don't even get the option to restart later. That's awesome. <laughs> Man. Um, yay. In any case, um, so you can't even read the nice portion of how you authorize. But what I can do is that if anyone needs this sort of documentation, I can send this around to the cafe and. Um, post it somewhere. But it, it's letting people know and letting them understand that their photo is going to be taken. Um, and this is really the best way to do it because that way they know that their photo will be taken. They know that they will be uh, videotaped. Um, they're not caught unawares. They're not walking into a room and a f you know, camera shoved in their face. Uh, this way everyone's pretty much happy with you and you aren't going to get somebody calling you up saying, why is my photo in your brochure? I'm suing you for $10 million because my photo is that expensive. Um, yeah, that, that's, uh, those are pretty much the situations you come into. Uh, any questions?